While it's only been recently since the first season of Chainsaw Man had just finished airing, I didn't want to talk about the anime as a whole since you could find hundreds of videos on it. Rather, I wanted to talk about specifically one character of the series, and that is Denji. Yes, I could be talking about other characters like Aki, Power, Himino, but not Makima, she's a the reason why I wanted to talk about Denji is because I think he is pretty misunderstood as a character and that a lot of people tend to not understand why he is the way he is. I've seen comments where, oh Denji is such a boring character, he has no ambition. The thing about shonen main characters is that they're always shown to have big dreams, which is what the whole story is based around and to show by the end of the series that the main character achieved set goal. For Naruto, it was to become Hokage, for Luffy, it's to become the Pirate King, and for Eren, it was to destroy all titans. Twitch may or may not have changed to what he wants to do now, but uh, you get the point. Denji isn't any different. He has dreams and he will accomplish said dreams. The dreams of, uh, I mean, it's still a dream. A dream is a dream. Denji as a whole doesn't want many things, and the things he does want are so simple that if you think about them, aren't as simple as to someone like him. We're so accustomed to the facts that our main characters need to dream big. A goal that is so far and hard to attain that it takes a whole series for the main character to achieve. For someone like Denji, living good, eating well is as hard to achieve because the world he lives in treats him like a dog and makes it hard for him to achieve such, such simple things that we take granted for our main characters. Denji grew up in a literal shed with barely any food and lived with a massive debt that his father left him with, in which he can barely finish off since every time he does try to pay it off, it just keeps increasing due to interest. I mean, the guy sold his own balls just to pay it off, and it made no difference. That too, he had to live like that for many, many years, in which he had to also feed himself and Pochita for the longest time. And then once he finally escaped from that debt, he's living well and eating fine, but he's not living that free life he had hoped for, since if he runs away from Makima and her agency, he will be killed. So basically, his dreams of freedom and living the life that he wants is so simple, but for someone like him, it's very hard to attain. Also, I think he isn't meant to be this person who is your ordinary good guy main character. He has his flaws, and he is not shown to not give a fuck about people in general. There's a literal part where he throws a car with someone in it knowingly, but he doesn't give a fuck and he throws it anyway because that's just who he is, and I think he tends to lean towards the anti-hero side of things, to where he is morally good, but the way he does things is not justifiable, but that's just who he is, and also, him not understanding certain standard things is also understandable, because he grew up without anyone around him to teach him certain things, and know who to trust, and not, which is what will be shown more as time goes on, because in the manga, he is shown to learn things about people, and learn how to be human due to certain events, even if someone does him wrong. His view on that person doesn't really change. If he had liked that person to begin with, he will like them regardless of what happens. It's just who he is, and I don't think that side of him will change, but it might just keep biting him in the ass. Even though Denji is shown to be a pretty simple person, and that there's not too much depth to him. I think once the anime starts adapting the manga more, everyone will tend to see more of Denji to where there is more depth to him, and that he is learning and evolving as a character. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and please leave a like and subscribe. <laughs>